this is a 16 millimeter sink block and uh, the purpose of this is we can put more than one roll of film in here and run it uh, from beginning to end uh, in sync with a corresponding roll. Um, on this uh, set of split reels is the A roll and on this one is the B roll. Each of these rolls are the same length and um, the way an A and B roll is laid out is uh, it's essentially checkerboarded. Um, it alternates shots between the A roll and the B roll. We have a hole punch at the beginning, which is where we're going to have the, the printer start printing each roll. This is a frame counter here, and it goes from zero in the sense to 39, and that each number represents a frame. Um, and then this counter here will advance every foot. There's 40 frames in a foot, so when it goes past 39 to 40, it re-zeroes and advances the counter to the next foot. So what we're going to do is put the printer starts here. point so on the arrow they match up and they correspond to the zero frame here and I'll zero my counter here and now I can roll them through with a, with a clamp on this uh, against these split reels here I can uh, now move this rewind so that both these films will advance together and if you go wind this through from beginning to end you will see that every new shot will be on a different roll. Uh, you need to have A and B rolls in 16 millimeter because the frame line is too small for you to, for you to make a hot splice and not have it be visible on the screen when you project a frame. Mm -hmm. um, you would, if this A and B roll was a single strand where this picture was hot spliced to this picture, you would see a splice line on the uh, screen. We'll print the A roll first on the printer, and uh, uh, the printer, the person who threads up the printer, he'll put the printer start into the uh, mm -hmm. printer and um, has the print stock in. It's a contact printer um, and it'll punch a hole in the print stock and uh, thread it up and start the printer and when the A-roll goes through the Academy leader will be exposed onto the print stock and then after the Academy this black leader will go through and not expose the print stock and we'll go it'll go all the way to the end of the A-roll as you can see here, this is the next shot is this title. And then rewind the print stock back to the beginning and take the B-roll and thread re-thread up the uh, print stock and take the B-roll all the way to the end. Now, do you do an A, B, and roll with 35 millimeter? There are A and B rolls in 35, but it's not as um, it's not as necessary. Um, the only time you need to do uh, to have A and B rolls in 35 millimeter is when you have effects, uh, fades, fades to black or dissolves. Uh -huh. um, otherwise, if, if it's nothing but straight cuts, you can actually have in 35 millimeter a single strand um, element because the splices, the frame lines wider in 35 millimeter, so you don't. Uh, you don't see the splices on the print. 